I, li- I listen. I listen to winds on the way in, get my news, you know, and uh, traffic and weather and things like that. And John Montone is the guy that they send out. He's the guy on the street. We've yeah. had him on the show before. Sure. And uh, uh, he has this voice, and 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 his his ending, his little tag on all of his stories is whatever the guy that he's interviewing just said. Yeah. It's like, well, it's going to be a tough drive. A tough drive. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. A tough Throws drive. in one of those dumb well, words at the end. you know, we're just going to have to suck it up and uh, get ourselves to work. Suck it up and get ourselves to work. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, uh, but he didn't do that today. Right. Today he goes, and to the pinhead in the red Honda who was doing 70 in the right lane passing tractor trailers, hey, buddy. If you're still alive, <laughs> slow down. He actually said if you're like, still alive. He reprimanded someone on the air. I was dying. John Montone's a dick. No. John Montone rules. I listen every day. Yeah, we like him. He's it, was all right. so, it was so funny to hear him calling someone out. Hey, buddy. Pinhead. Pally. He said pinhead, bud. Hey, you <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, so... There you go. Made it in. Uh, yeah, well, somebody's got the a little red raspberry on their noggin. If you look over there. Wait, that's from t- this morning, Dan? Where do you think it was from? Yeah. Well, why are you here? Because I'm all right. It's not what good. happened, Dan? It's look at his head. What's he was concussion? in a car accident on the way in. Yeah, nothing like snow. Nothing like the city preparing for a snowstorm with when no I... salt and no plows on the street. Well, they got to wait for it to over. snow for a while. No, you know what it is? The city's broke. Everyone's broke. It used to be there would be sanders and plows out when the first flurry came down, when everybody was, you know, doing well. Yeah. Now I hit that uh, uh, the uh, New York City line mm-hmm. on the expressway. They might as well have just drawn it with someone's foot <laughs> in the snow because it was that obvious. You hit it, and all of a sudden, nothing was plowed or salted. They should have a huge sign, you're on your own now. Yeah, you're on your own. Good luck. To be honest, I've never, like, I mean, I've lived in New York my entire life, so I've seen plenty of snowstorms. I've never seen the roads so poorly planned for. Like, yep. for, And there's not a lot of snow on the ground. There really no. isn't. But they, there's nothing. Like there was, They I didn't think, salt? No salt, no plows. Because no they usually nothing. throw that salt down early. They do do that. Dude, we, we used to make fun of how they would say, like, oh, my God, there's going to be this big snowstorm. And before the first, like, flake came down, mm. the salters are out there. The news is talking to the salting trucks. Today, nothing. Ungat, says my uh, my relatives used to say. Uh, like the, like the main highways like aren't so bad because there's you know traffic here and there, so like the cars mm-hmm. you know trudging through it just kind of makes it like slushy and wet, which is no big deal. But it's those little roads like where you have to like get off a highway that merges onto another highway, and there was you know there's not a lot of traffic on those little roads like that, so there was nothing there. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I, was, I was the first set of tire treads. And that's exactly why I lost. And it. and then the second set is the guy that's laughing at which way the first set are going. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, look at those tire treads. Wow, I, I didn't think a car could move in that direction like that. <laughs> was I scared? You ever try to figure out how the, the yeah. car? You're like, wait, like, wait a minute, I'm seeing four tire tracks. How do you make a squiggly line like that with a Amazing. car? Well, I had to figure out it's like how. Spirograph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There you go. I had to figure out how. Like once I figured out, like once my car started, because I thought I was going to have to call a tow truck or something. So once it started, I had to figure out how I was going to get back on the road and not get into a car accident again because I was I was completely turned like the other way at this point so yeah. I had to try to maneuver my car so like oh. how fast were you going not fast at all probably was it one of those slow motion crashes oh, totally. we've all uh, experienced absolutely you, you watch it call? you watch it happen for a good 30 seconds like ah uh, I yeah. know I'm I'm hitting something uh yes stop right yeah get me in a little late yeah no I'm having an accident no no I haven't had it yet it's happening but there's nothing I'm else spinning. I could do yeah um <laughs> We need to turn into the, right, I'm turning into the skid. Yeah. And I'm still going. All right, I'll call you after I crash. It's one of those situations where there's nothing else you can do. You just no. got to wait for the impact. That's exactly what it was, too. That you know? sucks. Like I, was, I was on the highway maybe doing like 40, 45. Like, I was yeah. taking it nice and easy. And then, like, you know, I get off to uh, uh, to get onto that, like, little service road sort of of the LIE. And uh, right as I get off, because there was, you know, no plows, no nothing. So right as I got off, just started skidding mm-hmm. immediately, mm-hmm. and it's slow. Like I said, so I was only doing. So now I'm slowing down from forty. You know, 
Felico right, Felico left. I'm doing that little, okay, I'll go with, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'll go yeah. right with my wheel, then left with the wheel. <laughs> oh, I knew it was oh, coming no. from a mile away. So, you know, I just pretty much braced for impact and tried to do the least amount of damage to my car when I hit the car. And, and your head. It is uh, nice and shiny red there. That is. got to take a picture of that and uh, pop it up. Yeah, man. we'll put it up on onaradio.com. So, uh, <laughs> what was I going to ask you? No seatbelt? Uh, no, but it wouldn't have I still would have hit my head. How? How? Uh, it was on, like, the lip of where the sunroof is. Like you know how there's like that little piece of yeah, but doesn't the car belt ceiling? hold you down as well as I, well? You know what it was? I was I was up. I knew it was going to happen, right? So like I'm in the seat and I'm kind of like bracing, you know, like I wasn't like so I put my head through the sunroof and closed it around my neck. Well, what I did, I, just, <laughs> I was as straight like I tried to make myself as straight as possible and as far back into the seat. Well, as you possible. did have time. So, uh, I did. I told you it went on forever. <laughs> like I'm sitting, I'm bracing for impact. Like, I thought about it like four times as it's happening. I'm like, you know, I just, I just bought this car a month ago. Yeah. And like that's all that's going through my head. And I'm like, I and like I know I'm crashing. And like I had the time to think about how I wanted to crash. How bad's the damage? How, yeah, how much? Damage? It's bad enough, man. Is that... Like, yeah, I'll need a new bumper. Bumper. Nah. You don't need a bumper. He headlights, all right. You know what? Surprisingly, it hit just under, so my oh, headlight under? actually made it. I just drive around like that. Who cares? Yeah, but you know what? It just like stinks. a goddamn. Uh, that's right. You can't. <laughs> that's right. It, it wouldn't bother me so much if I didn't just get the car like mm. four, like literally four weeks ago yeah Jeez. and it's not even a nice car and it's probably the nicest car i've ever had so it's just <laughs> oh, like, no. oh, God. you know what i'm saying like it's a 10 year old car and it's the nicest thing i've ever driven oh, so. oh. That's, that sucks by the way the uh, tow truck guys are calling they're out there we know you're out there just not as many as we're used to seeing all right let's acknowledge that because like hey big fan playing right now we're out here shot it